Welcome to another edition of In Your Neighborhood. Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm the senior broker, the team lead with Team Rennick Real Estate Services, part of that great Keller Williams on the Water family. This video series is all about my promise to tell you the story of Longboat Key from the eyes of the folks that live here, work here, and play here. I can't think of a better partner than Mr. Stephen Reed. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. Glad to have you this morning. Steve is the owner and publisher of both the Longboat Key News and the Sarasota City News, and a great wealth of knowledge. And so he is very valuable to, to bring in us a story. But so first of all, Steve, let's start out today. Where are we? Well, Mike, you're a realtor. I am. You say in your listings, and all realtors do this, we're in mm -hmm. a beautiful, this is a beautiful home, exquisite this, splendor that. Here, so, though, it's true. Here is, yeah, this is going to make it true. <laughs> we are so close. We are at, we are at the former home former home of Moore's Stone Crab Restaurant, mm -hmm. which was here for decades, since the 50s, yeah. one of the oldest restaurants. And that was sold, torn down, except for like we saw in another video a couple weeks ago, like right. the gas station, sort of the footprint. The shell stays The shell up. was maintained, yeah. and for building purposes, that gives you a lot of rights. But where we are specifically, is at the end of Broadway, at the very eastern end, on the water, right on the intracoastal between Longbow Key and Jewfish Key. This, to me, is truly one of the most beautiful places in the region. I agree. Is if you sit out at, at, at the back, and this will be the future mm -hmm. um, Shore restaurant, that's what this is here, or in, right next door to Mar Vista. If you sit back there, and you look out on that water, it's gorgeous. If that doesn't move you or touch yeah. you, you need to just jump Ooh. into your grave. We did an update, or we did an original series a couple of months ago. So what has changed? Where are we at on the timeline? Well, they've made progress, obviously. It's night and day. I mean, b before, the, you know, building things, and it's hard from the news point of view because you try to find out when's it going to open, when's it going to open. Right. And they're always giving some optimistic thing. By They always say by season. By well, it's always by season of two years is ago. It this season, yeah, or next yeah, season? yeah. So, yes, it, it it is coming by next season. I I can't guarantee it's anything could happen in life, right. but this should be open by year's end for business. They're hiring right. people now. They're getting their they're starting to well, get the staff in place. So, what makes this restaurant unique on Longboat Key? I think what makes it unique is twofold. One. Besides the location, which mm -hmm. we talked about, mm -hmm. the history of Moore's is sort of preserved. What you have at Moore's was an independent right. owned restaurant. Well, the shore is owned by Tom Leonard. They only have, they have other restaurants, like they, they own uh, Owen's Fish Camp. Mm -hmm. They also own the shore and St. Armand Circle. Right. Really good chef-driven food. Mm -hmm. So when you combine the perfect view with food, created by someone who actually cares and and not just assembling like an assembly line right. factory yep. but these people I one thing I like about the shore if you've been there small menu but good stuff absolutely you know and, and that's you go there it's not a big a lot there's not any mm. things and but what they do they do well and I think that um I long boaters are gonna love this when I look at the size of this building this is huge so do you, and I'm asking you a question we obviously didn't prepare, but do you have any idea what the seating is going to be in this thing? Because oh, this is me. not, okay. and, I, and if you don't know that, I respect that. This is not the typical size restaurant on Longboat. It's Cape. actually pretty big. Yes, that's, yeah, that's it, my it, point. I believe, it, it, and I could be off, but I believe it's in the high 200s. So we have nothing comparable to that on no, the No, no, no. This is one of the bigger, I mean, obviously when the, um, uh, when the St. Regis Hotel opens and things like that, you may have and you may have some big capacity in that dining room. But to be quite blunt, yeah, you not only don't you have that, but you have it on the water. And what you don't see, we're we're on the flip side here, but you will see probably in some of the shots that we can present in the video is they have dockage. You can take a oh, boat. Yeah. They have more docks really than anyone. And you we'll can, capture that with the, the yeah. Bridge. So so boaters 
come here because you can fit a large uh, a large draw vessel okay. uh, for a long dry, uh, a boat that takes five or seven feet of water can get in here. Okay. Um, and, and so you'll see people come here, sailboats and boats, and it is, if, if you haven't seen the waterway here, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, people watch this video, just drive here before it even opens. It, and we'll we'll so capture gorgeous. that stuff yeah. on the, the drone footage. So the target is to open this season, correct? Yes. And so this is our second update. We'll promise to come back to tell more. Steve, thank you, I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you for watching, more to follow. Thanks everyone, take we'll be care. Be back.